So it is my 16 month update. Yay! Hello my beauties, gents. It is Mama Day here. So, so guys, it's my 16 month anniversary and it's been a little less than four months, but it's been almost four months since my last, it's been four months since my last update. So I, I did not, there wasn't really anything I needed to show you guys update wise, but there's a lot of change recently and a lot of things that I'm changing. First off, I want to say that I'm one, no longer interlocking my own hair. Praise Jesus, I did it twice. Let's, Let's take a sip on the, and get a pro to do it. I give props to all of y'all that do it, and you can do it in eight hours, under a day. It still took me two days, and I can't. I wanted to. I tried it, so I felt like as a YouTuber, I did not fail y'all, because I at least came today, and there's footage. Hmm. I am super duper excited that I found a loctician. I found a sister lock certified, um, loctician that is going to interlock my hair. She did my interlocking last week. I'm very pleased with it. Um, um, out of the blue, my sister actually um, told me about her and we went to her salon. Um, when I did tell her I had Michael Bray locks, they weren't quite understanding what I had and then they looked at it. And the funny thing is that she asked me, well, how long have we grown my locks? And I was like, oh, I'm only 15 months, which is when I first had my consultation with her. And she was like, uh, God, your hair grows fast. And I don't think she understood that. It wasn't the fact that my hair grew fast. It was the fact that my hair is locking on top of the braid, which I'm super duper excited for. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. My hair's not really coarse, it's just fine and then fine coarse, but not coarse coarse, which grass is green on the other side, I envy because those who have coarser hair and a tighter texture um, lock faster and I'm jelly. But I feel like the benefit of me dyeing my hair has truly made the difference because my hair has, has within this four months locked so much First one in the front, I want to show you guys. Yeah, these two, if you look at them, both these all the way down to just the ends. That one is just barely coiling, if you can see it. Cannot see a braid pattern whatsoever. It's gone. The interlocking here, and if you see, I'm gonna go up right Right here, you see the braid, and even here's loose, and then the loose curl. So this part right here has not been active at all, but if you see right here, this part right here is the braid, and it's getting locked over. You see my baby, this was my first lock ever. It is still not officially locked because I still have that one curl right here, but I have one. Here, look at this one, completely locked to the bud. All of that is locked. That is all the way locked, and it's just budding over. I love it. Keep going, this one, this is the one I was talking about right here. All the way locked, all the way. There's no braid visual whatsoever all the way down here and it has locked and budded and it's just tight all the way over and it's just it's bunching it, it's good it's thick you see right here it's just bunching it's eventually going to get solid and lock in but that is my ugly stage which i still think is super beautiful by the way um a block Even the middle section, like look at that, all of that is locking. 
you just barely see the braid from here to here, like here to here. That's showing me that the, the, the um, I believe my braid pattern is gonna be officially gone once I hit two years, maybe less than that, because I'm at 16 now and I have flourish. But there are, one, there are some, like right here in the front, from here to here is a strong braid pattern, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nervous about it. Here to here, I have hope. The other thing that um, I think the last two times I've washed my hair, I am no longer binding my hair. I'm just not doing it because my ends are probably the only thing that hasn't changed. My ends are not locking at all. They, this is the shampoo I've been using. My sister bought me this shampoo. It's nice, but I think it's more of a moisturizing shampoo. It's more for scalp treatment. Um, my stuff is still bad. But after I wash my hair, my hair does not feel stripping. And yes, I do dilute this with water. So it's probably like one fourth shampoo and one three fourths water, which is probably why it doesn't really it doesn't really go for my scalp because it's highly diluted. So when I went to go get my locks interlocked, my loctician Chrissy, hey Chrissy, Chrissy recommended that I get the starter shampoo for sister locks. And I will tell you, even when I wash my hair three times with this, my hair is still not as stripping as it was it was. So I truly believe this is gonna lock my ends up and it might even help those at the bottom part that still have the braid pattern. It might make the process quicker. So my loctician said I didn't have to band my hair anymore. She said the banding is probably what's preventing it from locking. So it's probably best that I don't band my hair so I can get it to the hair routine, okay? Um, when I went in to get my consultation, the lady said that because I bleached my hair, that I need to be putting oil in my hair. And she asked me, what do I put in my hair? These two. The Break No More and the Moisture Boost Leave-Ins. This was empty evidently, but you know, this is what I use. Um, and she said that I had to do a oil. I had to put a oil in my hair. So you guys know that I did use the Mega Growth Oil. Not so much for it to Mega Grow my hair, but just because I love the oils in it. Um, it has grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, shea butter, babusa oil, umo oil, jojoba oil. And I love naturallygrow.com. Um, so she said that I need to be putting oil in my hair every day. I was like, girl, every day? Oh, I'm excited about this life. I don't do it every day. I do it every other day just because I'm still afraid that it's going the process of my locking on my ends. So I pretty much focus on just putting it here and here like this. Not really going to my ends with my hair but kind of just going like that, 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 and that when I put the oil on my hair. Just because these are the parts that are already locked so it's not going to mess up in my mind, but she says the oil gives strength to my hair so my hair doesn't break off. I still think the protein break no more and the moisture um, boost help with my hair. I don't use the moisture boost as much as I use the break no more, just to prevent the breakage from the um, bleaching of my hair. And I make sure, I pay attention to my shirt. Like when I'm styling my hair, if I see a lot of flakes of my hair, I know I need some protein in my hair. If I don't see as much and my scalp's real dry, I know it's time to probably put the moisture boost in. Um, the important thing about the oil is, you know, go by recommendations on 15 months. She said that I have to put it in the microwave and heat it up just because that loosens the oil so you're not putting as much and I truly really do guys put like maybe a nickel size rub it and put it in my hair I don't use a lot of oil. I had two locks that I messed up and um, interlocked them together really really bad so I had and I cut them trying to cut them in half and like cut the middle part to break it up and I end up cutting them off she because I thought she was going to like reattach them. But what she did 
into this. So you see that loose hair right there? So she just took that loose hair and interlocked it into these so that they wouldn't, wouldn't have loose hair. And two, um, she didn't have to crochet the other ones into my hair, which is what I thought she was gonna do, but she didn't. So I was 322, now I'm 320. Yay. And then I interlocked, I joined these two together because this one was really, really skinny and it was getting thin. You see right there how thin it's gotten compared to this one and I said, oh, it's gonna break. So to avoid breaking it, I just went ahead and joined these two together. So I have one and I just pretty much keep it twisted together. Oh, I'm adding something to it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not invited to the twisting party. I just usually keep it twisted. So it looks like one. And in my mind, because I'm still, um, what, budding or whatever, that this will eventually, with it twisted, just kind of lock on itself. So I don't have to worry about it. And when I lock it, it's one nice big lock. I love it. I mean, not big lock, but it's, it's a decent size lock. That is still not big. I think the only thing that I'm probably more irritated about, and it's probably because I'm just not used to it, is that my hair now falls all in my face. Like it just kind of, it just kind of <laughs> does what it wants now. I'm so prone now to just wearing a lot of um, bands, pineapple, which I can finally put my hair in a pineapple pick right there. Super excited about that. It's gotten thick enough because I think when I tried it before, it was so limp and thin that the pineapple just didn't work. It just looked like this ponytail braids that were really, really skinny and it was a hot mess. So I usually had to put my hair in a ponytail down here because it looked better, but now it's thicker. I mean, even with my slap, um, I have a large slap and I have a small slap. The small slap is starting to, starting to feel really, really tight. So I think I need to order a, um, a medium slap. And because the large slap is still really big, too big, and I feel like it's probably just still good for me styling my hair. I'm noticing that styles are lasting longer. It's at its dead end, but this is a braid out that was Easter. I did it on Easter. So it's still kind of curly on the end for me styling. That was a long time ago. So it's it, the styles are holding longer, which I'm uber excited about. I'm sorry this is such a long video, but I wanted to update you guys on absolutely everything. I will do more updates to check in how I feel about the shampoo and how it's progressing with my ends. So I'm gonna take some really close pictures of my ends just so you guys can see and do a nice little comparison along with the comparison of my lens check. All right guys, so as always, I hope you like it. You loved it. Comment below and tell me what you think. Bye. Bye guys. Right? Right?